This is what the Islamic Republic is trying to prevent, men and women physically interacting in public. Now the debate is taking place here, inside Iran's university lecture halls. And this is the man who wants to keep men and women separate in the country's universities. Government Minister Kamran Donashu says starting in September, Iran will implement a law that will segregate the sexes in the country's higher institutions. But it's not a done deal. President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad has very publicly opposed the move and describes the plan as, quote, unwise and unscholarly. In a letter to the minister published on Ahmadinejad's official website, the president says, quote, we're hearing that some of the classes at universities are being segregated with no regard for the consequences. It is essential that these shallow and unscholarly actions are halted immediately. In Iran, female students make up 60% of all university students, and any plan to segregate them over 30 years after the Islamic Revolution is an idea many here say they will not accept. I'm against this idea. I think segregating even certain classes does not serve any purpose at all. I don't think it's a good idea. So what if there are male and female students in the same class? That's not going to change anything. It's useless to separate them. I am completely against this idea, and all these years since the revolution, the universities have been mixed and nothing's happened. If they really wanted to do this, they should have done it 32 years ago. But some say the move is not just about segregating students. It appears that, as I said, the whole notion, the whole idea was uh, politically motivated. Perhaps the conservative wanted to use it as a propaganda uh, purposes for amongst their, 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 their supporters. The Iranian parliament's research and education committee has confirmed the minister's plan. The committee even says they're willing to fund the construction of single-sex universities. But it's not clear what will happen when millions of Iranians return to their universities in September. What is clear is that President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad is yet again finding himself in the middle of a public dispute with his conservative opponents. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera, Tehran.